firstly welcome this is home yeah uh, it's good to see you back in the rcb jersey and more importantly in a cricket jersey yeah 6 months no cricket how difficult was it to live without something that's so integral to your life a couple of months ago you could not even imagine that you would have ipl firstly and then yeah. um you know things started opening up and uh, things started getting together and we saw other tournaments take place so got a, a bit of confidence from that now um when we had our practice session yesterday um is the time i realized how long it's been yeah. um when when i was heading to the the practice session i felt nervous i felt a bit jittery but um yeah things were okay i i didn't honestly i didn't i didn't miss the game um as much as i thought i might um maybe because i had been going on for 9 10 years before that and this was the only break i was ever going to get yeah. and that long so yeah but it was it was a revelation for me as well it was surprising that my focus was um, not solely on how i'm missing the game all the time and uh, you know just carrying on with life and doing other things and understanding this is just a part of life uh so which obviously means you spent a lot of time in the quarantine or you know during the social distancing phase with the lockdown you were at home yeah uh so a lot of people are very curious to know how did you spend your time what did you do well the the best thing was um, anushka and myself were at home we we never got so much time to spend together since we um, you know started seeing each other to be honest um this was the longest we got to spend together and um, just being home just being in your own home you know yeah. with with the one you love it's you couldn't ask for anything better and we just uh, made the most of that whole time um uh, created a bit of a routine for ourselves we don't we honestly we didn't we didn't force ourselves to you know we didn't feel pressurized to say oh this one's learning this and this one's uh, picking up that hobby so we should also do something and you know learn some it it is what it is i mean you you're going through a phase in life where life has stopped it has become slow yeah so we stopped seeking um things that that keep us engaged and you know that keep us sort of uh, working towards something we just accepted it and we were at peace being at home together and it was it was just a lovely time just just a normal time for both of us yes it was tough initially but then we got used to it eventually you get used to things so you've always taken responsibility uh for your actions and 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 it also showed recently on that zoom call that went uh you know from our handles everybody's seen it the team discussing the whole covid situation and you said we need to be responsible now that's you but do you think somewhere it, it puts pressure on the younger guys or do you think they all understand because you've interacted with them not really i mean it's look i understand that you know uh, you might not have had uh, the 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 most um sort of balanced understanding of things yeah. you might not have had clarity initially yeah. uh, i didn't have clarity about so many things when i was you know coming up the ranks but um now i don't think it should be a thing of pressure to be mm. honest i mean i if if someone uh, guided me in that direction oh, yeah. telling me what's the what's the right thing to do or you know when i was i was coming up the ranks i would have loved it if i had if i had a, a clear message and a vision in front of me i would have said boss this is what i want to follow yeah so in this situation what what i said on the zoom call i don't think it should be a thing of pressure for anyone because the magnitude of the situation is such yeah and we are all here to 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 eventually play cricket take care of this tournament take care of our our um, surroundings that we are in the bio bubble needs to be respected at all times for the tournament to happen eventually we are here because we have the opportunity to play yeah. we are not here to have fun and roam around and you know yeah. say oh i want to hang out in dubai and all that that is not the time we are living in so we have to accept the phase that we are going through and understand the privilege that we have in front of us which is you know just to be a part of the IPL and everyone should accept that and not have desires that make them behave in a manner which the situation doesn't require them to what you're essentially saying is that call you were almost like a mentor guiding them right which is yeah. great and it, it and it looks like the support staff as well this year in the team they're going to be taking up similar roles do you think they're going to have a massive part this year absolutely and um, both mike and simon yeah. and adam yes 
um, along with the other support staff uh, that have joined in. Um, they all seem pretty balanced. They all seem, um, um, you know, pretty clear in what they what they want. Yeah. But at the same time, they're very respectful of the fact that they need to manage people in a certain way, but also setting a very very clear, very um, you know, forthright culture in front of them that this is where you need to go. We will help you along the way, but the culture will not change because of individual preferences. Hmm. And I think that's the most important part of any successful team. That once you set a culture right, which is of excellence, which forces you and pushes you to be the best version of yourself every day, at the same time having fun and understanding people along the way, I think that is the balance that these guys have created wonderfully till now. And I, I'm sure they'll keep continuing to do so because they, they don't seem like the people that will, um, you know, sort of waver when there's pressure or waver. They're very firm. Yeah, they're very firm. They're very clear on where they want to go and they'll take the team along as well yeah. and not sort of, you know, um, just walk away when things get difficult. Right. So that's the sense I've, I've gotten till now and uh, it's a good feeling to have people like that. You know, we're talking about rock solid people. Uh, the other element is the fans. I'm very curious about this. A lot of uh, kids who come up from domestic cricket, when they go to international cricket, it's the crowds and they're overwhelmed. Yeah. For you, it's the other way around. You're yeah. going from crowds to absolute silence. <laughs> Is that going to get you nervous? Uh, I mean, how much of a part does it really play? I'm assuming a massive part. I won't uh, deny the fact that it's going to be difficult initially. It's going to be strange. No, I it's mean, going to be new, right? It's going to be new. Yeah. Of course, it's going to be new. Yeah. Um, just the, the echo of, of the, the ball hitting the bat, I mean, I haven't, I haven't experienced that since, um, you know, playing, playing uh, Ranji Trophy cricket back in 2010 is wow. the last time I experienced it. So, for 10 years, I haven't had a game where, you know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not hearing the crowd. But, look, again, I, I would go back to the point that we have done this at some stage in our life. Right. So, it's important to remember that rather than saying, Oh, but for 10 years I'm used to this now and I won't do it if there's no crowd, you know. So, yeah. when you have an option, you choose an option and we yeah. do have an option that we have done it in the past. Mm -hmm. So, take your attention there, understand even when those games you were playing, you were just wanting to perform and just play for the love of the game. Yeah. So, that needs to be dear to everyone and I think the, the crowd factor will definitely play a part. But once you get into the game, I don't think we all love the game so much and you know we are we're just naturally um, on the field doing what we what we do best so i think the instincts will kick in and the, the crowd factor will will diminish quite quickly um, once we get into the action uh, you know uh, it's interesting that there's no crowds uh, this time around and you said you'd get used to that but there's another thing which is uh, there was a call that all of us went on cricket players, non-cricket players, support staff, where there was a mandate that said no high fives, no patting on the back. How are you guys going to celebrate? I mean, you're so animated on the field, right? You, you, I, mean, Look, I mean, you're running in, you're holding people when they take a wicket. This time around, it's going to be like you run in and then you're like, oh no, we can't do this. Uh, to be honest, I mean, yeah. I mean, people that, that are in your own bubble. Yeah, um, but that, that's okay. I mean, <laughs> look, at training, you can't, you can't, it's it's common sense right now, like when, when I've seen the bio bubble being respected in the, the series that England played as well. Yeah. You see those guys celebrating. I mean, where you can, um, obviously after, you know, um, the game is done, obviously you have fist bumps or, you know, touch the elbow with the other team and it makes sense because they're two different bubbles. But I think the, the players have celebrated. Mm. And I would say that 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 moment where you've just taken a wicket, you know, those four or five people around you that come to you first yeah. are the ones who have sort of patted and, you know, just given high fives and stuff. And the others that walk after, when things mellow down a bit, I've seen them doing fist pumps and all that. So, exactly. I think it has to be a balance. You can't just go berserk like, ah, we're going to do whatever we want and, you know, <laughs> just celebrate like the old times and all that. Yeah. We're all sensible people. Um, we'll maintain a balance. We'll be practical about things. We won't go berserk saying this is our moment and just unleash and do what you want on the field. It's not a yeah, it's not a playground at the end of the day. We need to <laughs> you need yeah. to be wary of what what is required of us. You know, it's not like kids being sent to a park and just start playing now. Do what you want. Yeah. 
So I think we'll be able to maintain a good balance. I'm sure about that. And finally, congratulations. Thank you on the big announcement. Thank you. Uh, must be an incredible feeling. It is. Yes. Uh, I mean, as I said, there's there's uh, puts things in perspective for you. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's 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 a beautiful feeling. That's that's all I can say. It's very difficult to do to describe how you feel. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, when we found out, obviously we were over the moon, and then when we announced recently the kind of love that was yeah. showered on us, and uh, you know, genuinely people were so emotional and happy for us. Yeah, we we really really looking forward to that that third member joining the clan. Thank you very much, Daddy Virat, for this interview. <laughs> Thank you. Wow,